I am not. I'm. I'm not on it today. I, I messed up the live stream. I totally hey, forgot to. I totally forgot to add us in because I was already like getting ready to do my opening bit. Hold on, scratch that. Rewind. Let me do my opening bit. Okay, hold on. What the? Hello, Idol God. Was this the best <laughs> episode of the season? No. <laughs> of the season, yes, this was look, the best. Oh, yeah, yeah, right now. But the, yeah. the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. I mean, as of now, this was the best episode of the season. Hello, everybody out there. Welcome to the Survivor Now podcast. My name is Randy Bruce. I am joined by season 41 castaway, Eric Abraham. And we are here to break down, recap, whatever you want to call it, episode five of Survivor 46. And to some people, Abraham, we were talking about this earlier on our pre-show that didn't last long because I messed it up. I'm just not on my podcasting game today, that's, I guess. That's day, yeah, it's it's just cool. not it's not the day. I keep messing stuff up. Uh, we, we talked about it, but some people were saying this was the season premiere of Survivor 46 <laughs> because we've Funny. just been dealing with the Banu stuff for so long. No, I mean, no, bon hey, hey, Bono, you missed out there, man. I mean, I think you would even have fun today. So this episode, but let me tell you, man, like I've been saying, Survivor is played in steps. It's played in steps. Stop, stop trying to play to the merge. Stop trying to play to the end, everybody. When you get on the show, you got to play it by steps, man. And this episode, this episode showed everybody the steps what to do. And the steps what not to do. That's what this episode is all about. Oh my gosh. We have we have so much to talk about about whether you know Jim was playing too hard early on in the game. But if you are watching this video out there, either on YouTube, survivornowpodcast.com, or X, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on all of our social medias right. at Survivor Now Podcast. Also, we have new merch, new spring apparel is available uh so make sure you check that out you can go to the link in our instagram bio or uh it's actually not in the description it should have been in the description i told you i'm not on it today <laughs> or you can go to our website survivornowpodcast.com and check it out for yourself you can join our live chat we got jay in the chat great episode but my heart is broken because my winner pick jim has gone home and then kimberly <laughs> out of y'all i mean let, I mean, let's just talk about it, Abraham. Shocking. No. Shocking no. that Jim went. It's not no, shocking. You don't no, think it's, it's shocking. shocking at all. I thought no. it was extremely shocking. It's shocking. Yeah, think about it. We only see the edited version of what the whole storyline was. But you, you you can't come out. You can't just run out the gate. You already said, look, finding a hidden immunity idol, playing it chill, sending somebody else on a wild goose chase, all was great moves. I said, no, it wasn't. And soon as all she had to do was sit back, you know what? We're we gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. I was gonna say, Abraham, we got a new no. format today. Usually we go in order of the episodes. We're going back to what made myself and Abraham so oh. entertaining. And that's we'll we're just gonna jump around and talk about I've got my notes. We're gonna try to talk about everything that happened in this episode. Look. And there was a lot that happened, but no, we can get right into it. So Jim was able Wait to so find hard. the beware advantage. Uh, I, I will say this, Abraham, in, in terms of Jim and the beware advantage. Um, you can count me out. The moment that it says you have to do measurements around camp, <laughs> take the machete, I'm done. I'm not getting I'm, it. I'm I can't. <laughs> did, did the machete have a ruler on it? Because I'm like, well, how do you know how long the machete is? Because he was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be 12. Okay, this is going to be 24. I'm thinking to myself, well, how long is machete? I would have to get that first and be like, I guess it's six inches. I guess the paperwork says something about the length of the machete. But here's the thing. I loved it. I love the fact that they make you work for that idol. And she had to go around. She was measuring the sign. She was measuring the boat. She was measuring tree mail. And I was like, oh, yeah, that, that, that's how you get it done. Oh, count she me out. Playing, I, would, I wouldn't be able to do it. Just count me out. I'm done. Up, up until that point. She was playing a stellar game, and I had I said Jen is gonna go into merge, and she's gonna beat down some folks, and then something happened to her. Then, then she was then she was running up on everybody. Hey, who you voting for? Look me in the eye. Who you voting for? Who hey, hey, oh, we, you can trust me? Let me tell you something, on Survivor. When somebody say you can trust them, nine times out of ten, that's a lie. 
Well, I, wow. I think with I think with the machete thing, Abraham, it was like you know, here's one, here's two. So you're just counting how many machetes. Um, oh, okay, I well, you can do that way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah. she did it on the ground. So, but we still would have bombed out on that one. But here, she started playing too hard for no reason. She had the female alliance. They had Charlie's. They had Charlie's angels. They were a lock. They didn't start feeling nervous until she started approaching Tim. And Ben was like, hey, who are you voting for? Tell me who you voting for. I'll vote for whoever you want to vote for. In those situations, let somebody else speak first before you speak and say, hey, look, here's how I feel. This is going in here. I like everybody in the tribe. Unless you're going to give me somebody, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Buy yourself some time. But she was pressuring everybody. And they, she set herself ablaze. And then she had the, she had the immunity idol. She went through she all that work. She could have played it. <laughs> got to hit the immunity idol. She said, hey, she felt good. But you got to remember, she already planned to the merge already. She already planned to the end of the game already. And she, up until this point, Jim was our person, right? Man, we was having a good time watching her. Fooling people, had people digging up stumps and stuff. She was having a great game. She was outwitting everybody. Outwit, outplay, outlast until she pressured them at the end. And here's the thing about it is, everybody. When you lose them challenges, pressure bus pipes. We got some people in the comments here. Jay agrees with you. Yeah, I like this beware advantage task. Also oh, yeah. says, yeah, her approach sketched people out. They probably suspected she had the idol. Plus, they probably saw Ben as the bigger shield going forward. Uh, my friend Mitch adds in, she showed everyone that she would do anything and everything to advance her own game. And that scared people. Mitch, welcome. Thank you for jo uh, joining us, man. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm still shocked at this. And I'll, I'll tell you what I'm shocked at. Yeah. There's there's an alliance at Sega. We, we've seen this. This is the Vibe Tribe. They've been vibing. They were vibing with uh, with um, Jeff at Tribal Council, saying, you know, we've all gotten along. We don't want to send anyone home. But there's a there's an alliance in this tribe who are running things, and that is they compared themselves to Denise and Malcolm earlier on this season, and that is Maria and Charlie. Maria used her extra vote tonight to get waste. Jim out of the game. I waste. mean, it was, it, it was a waste. It did go to waste. She didn't need it, but that kind of shocked me. Charlie yeah, was you able... Had, you would have still had three votes. Charlie was able to pull Maria in, get Maria to go against the girls. You know, and, and another thing, we kept hearing it this episode. You wonder how strong this, like, parent alliance of Tim and Maria actually oh, is. not strong at all. You don't think it's, I mean, he, no, she went with, strong at all. obviously she went with her main alliance member and Charlie, but it, it, she, had the choose, now. she had to choose between the girls and the guys and she chose to go with the guys in the end. No, Jim made it easy for her to make a decision. It's a difficult decision to make. Let's not even, let's not even play. It's a difficult decision to make, but Jim made the decision a lot easier for her because Tim wasn't doing any of that. Tim was saying, hey, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep playing. Jim is my target. Tim already knew who his target was. Jim was his target. When Jim started playing erratic, when Jim started approaching people, would it be and say, I can't do nothing with that chaos energy? That chaos energy. And she was showing it. So now you make the decision easy to be like, oh, wait a minute, they're playing too hard. What are we playing for? We're not playing for the merge because we have numbers. So you got the girls in line, you got Charlie's Angels. You know, Charlie got the Taylor Swift thing going. So here's the thing. All she had to do is pull back and say, okay, I got the idol. Nobody knows. I'm just going to let them pick the name. They said, we're going to do Ben. So Ben's name was already there. So they, hey, throw that name, that name out to be done with it. Uh, we she, got went went, she went full Nova. Woo. It was like, hey, you got to go. Yeah, Mitch uh, agrees. Ben also would stick with Sega no matter what it seems like, even if it ruins his own game. And that's what is valuable to Maria and Charlie. And then Ken's adds in, Abraham, a question for us. So we agree Mo is pretty much screwed. It's going to be tough. Oh, it's going to be yeah. tough for Mo no. moving forward because it, oh. it looks like you have Charlie and Maria. Charlie has a great relationship with Ben that we, we saw – we saw it blossom this episode. And then Tim seems like he's got a dis decent relationship with Maria. So it almost seems like those four are going to work together, seemingly eliminating Mo if they were to go back to tribal council. And I mean, even oh, yeah. the camera, yeah. even the camera zoomed in on Mo 
And you could kind of see it in her face when she was like, oh, this is this is not going to work for me. I think I think Mo going to be a swing vote somewhere in there. I think next episode we're going to see her as a swing vote. But here's the beauty of it all. You see the dynamics there. Now we know what's coming up next week. Now we're going to see how that dynamics fits in when they merge all the tribes together. Because there's a lot of people want to jump ship already on all three tribes. They want to jump ship. They just didn't have a way to jump too. Now, this one would be Survivor if we didn't have a challenge. Oh, well, I I, I do want to get to the challenge. challenge. We do it to get to the challenge and, and what happened in this episode. But I do want to, a couple more things on Sega that I want oh. to point out. Did, <laughs> did you notice they brought up the fact that uh, Ben and Charlie are still talking about like music. They are still oh, doing man. like oh, music battles. We, I mean, you have so much dead time that yeah, you, you got to do something. But you know, it, oh, first of all, the point to Ben. Ben was gonna be Sega strong from here on out, and here's how I know. He said, "Man, I don't care what happened. I'm gonna still get that Sega tattoo." I was like, "Hold up." I ain't never say about it. Let me think about getting me a Yasa tattoo. Yeah, I don't know about that one. He, so he's a part of this whole thing, this whole experiment, and he's having a good time. He's also on the winning team, which is my team. And I was like, I don't want to see him go. I was going to pick Jim, but I think Kyra got a Jim. Who got Jim before me on the pick? Was it, uh, was it Jack? I, I, I think Jack I, did. I have to look it up real fast. I think Jack uh, might have got it before me. Jim is – no, Jim is on Phil's team. So Phil, yeah, yeah, Phil, yeah, Phil was all excited about that. Phil, I hope you saw the episode. <laughs> and um, I said, look, I didn't say, oh, then I had, if I had both of them, I was like, okay, one of them is going to mess up my board. So this was a good episode because it kind of builds to the next episode next week. But we also saw how gameplay really worked. I got to switch over right quick, man, to Tiffany and Q and their tribe and the dynamics. And they were like, what is her name, man? I keep forgetting her name. Hold on. Uh, Who was Kenzie. it? Tiffany? Kenzie. Kenzie. And every time Kenzie came up, hey, what are y'all talking about? Uh, we're just talking about coconuts. Hey, what are y'all talking about? Uh, we're just talking about, you know, running outside. Hey, what, what are y'all talking about? I mean, they just made like a blooper reel out of that one. And I was like, that is a good game plan. But Q, master play this episode. Tell him, hey, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump out. Now, for all you future Survivor players, no matter what the other 18 tribe members are, the 19 tribe member is Fiji. And when it's rainy and it's wet out there, it's miserable. We got I don't a, know we, how they got 11 days. A few comments here. Uh, Ken's, uh, hold on. Comments are coming in fast. Bonded through trauma. Jack's also in the chat. <laughs> I'm here, Abe. I am cooking up a mean sock watch uh, this week. <laughs> yeah, see, you, Abraham, if. if if we, if you recapped the entire uh, episode, this would only be a 20 minute podcast. You jump to everything and get, you get I to the points. I was still talking about Sega, how we didn't even talk about the dancing. Hey, man, hey. Oh, they just having fun in there. They having a good time. Yeah. No, but we can definitely go on to Yano. You wanted to talk about the, the challenge a little bit. And let's talk about this immunity challenge. And, and basically Yano, I mean, this is a tribe. Some pretty or some pretty crazy things were revealed this episode. One in the sense of they set the record for the tribe to go the longest oh, days yeah. without Flint. Eleven days. Abraham, for a person who played Survivor, how crazy mm-hmm. is that to think about? This tribe went oh. eleven days without fire. I mean, really, which I'm, I'm trying to think. We could have gone, but we had Flint, so it wasn't like it was, you know. But, you know, as far as fire and staying warm, Fiji is pretty much a tropical island anyway. But when it rains, that's when it's cool outside. And if you get wet, it's just miserable. So fire it makes it better. But I also looked at the fire and they had coconuts around it. And I was like, where did I get these coconuts from? Eventually, coconuts will heat up and burn. So apparently, they're not really good at keeping a fire. So even though they got fire, I hope they keep their flint. But it, it was it was just exciting to see that the challenge looked like they weren't going to win again. Like this was going to be, Jeff gave you the whole preview of how bad they were going to be. If you lose this time, you will be the, the worst tribe in the new era survivor. If you go without Flint, you're going to be the one tribe that never had Flint in a, in a game of survivor. So he set it up masterly so we could look at it and be like, and then when they started, it was like, man, they about to lose again. But <laughs> hey, Randy, you know, they got to the, they got to the best part. 
They they struggled through it. They got to it, and then they they slowed it down. No, no, stop, <laughs> stop. This is down. not. No, no. I hate how everyone loves this. The slow I motion was. Hey, no, I don't get fire, it. Man. No, no. The slow, slow motion. motion. No, no, no. It was not. No, hold on. Slow motion was fire. The slow motion was cool. Was the overall, the, the way they shot it was cool. But it gave it away. I'm telling you guys, you are you don't understand. I actually am super furious that everyone likes it. Like I, it actually <laughs> pisses, motion, it actually pisses me off that everybody You're likes it. You're a hater. It. You're a hater. That's no, slow motion, man. It told you as soon as it went slow motion, we knew. You cannot say you didn't know. If you didn't know, then if, even, even if I knew it still you made knew. it good. We don't need it. It still, it still made it hey, good. Ram. I was on the edge of my seat. I was literally like, oh my gosh, who's going to win this? Oh my gosh, here we go. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? And then the moment it goes to slow motion, I went, well, Yanu wins. It, it was, it it was like it. We already knew. We already knew. You could have let it keep happening. Do a <laughs> shot. Do a shot where you have, you have, you can see their last target and you can see Sega's last target. Like have both targets in the shot. Like do a shot from behind them, both of them firing away, and then you can just see uh, Yanu, or sorry, you can see Q knocking his down. Then you do slow motion. After look, look. he knocked it down, you can go into a slow motion celebration. The moment the they win, survivor name no. name one other season it is slow motion. They've done slow motion in many seasons. They did it like really? earlier this. No. They yes, they have. And they're like, hey, look, that's slow motion. All the like. Good hanging. <laughs> I <laughs> quit, quit it, was, it, it was it was it was cool it was cool but it gave it away I don't want to know that Yanu is going to beat Sega in this moment let's see what they're Look. saying in the comments I know everyone's probably they love that slow motion that's what they're saying that slow motion was fire uh let's see Mitch Jeez. said right here they kind of did something similar in the Philippines when Matt Singh lost again when they ended up voting out Russell people were pointing that out tonight um yeah, that was it, the old that was the old school slow motion cameras these are the new school slow motion cameras it, it was cool and it was just it just gave it away that was my problem but Yanu does win here finally another thing that happened in this challenge Abraham is Nami won again Nami's undefeated they have not finished second in a challenge. They have, except for that reward challenge, they did finish second. But I'm talking immunity challenges. No, nah, they have tribe. won every single time. There's their own you, tribe. But uh, and you know, you know who dominate. You know who dominated again, Hunter in this challenge. And another thing I liked about the challenge, Abraham. I don't know how you feel about this. I love that all three castaways has have to knock down a target. I love that. I love it. Well, yeah, like they don't give everybody a disadvantage. It gives everybody, it gives everybody a fair advantage. That's what I said before when we talked on the pre-show was no challenge can all is it, it, is one sided. It can you can get an advantage from a challenge. So running through the obstacle course, getting the bags, getting there, having to pull it back, having to shoot for it, everybody has a chance to win. And they and we saw that Q and them, they could have gave up and said, "Oh, we out of again." You know what? They didn't give up. They kept playing and they won. Now. When they got to the, the reward challenge for all future survivor players, 11 days of coconut and water. Let me tell you something. You better stay away from them donuts. You're going to want them donuts. You're going to want to jump on them too. And they're going to be tasty. Abraham, you would, you would jump on those donuts in a heartbeat. You can't say you would not jump on those Look, donuts. I would jump on them donuts, man. And I'll be like, hmm. I probably would have jumped on the fruit first. But the sweets... Oh my gosh, the fruit, the watermelon yeah. looked so good. Yeah, I, I, I really I wanted to go get some watermelon. I wanted to pause my TV, drive to Kroger down the street, and pick up some watermelon. Look. It looked delicious. I'm not saying don't eat it because you're gonna do it. It's 11 days with coconut and just water. And well, we had crabs. So if you had if you had fire, you could actually boil crabs. So we had crabs. So but here's the thing: your body will feel it. You see, you got uh you got Tim over there talking to the uh <laughs> to the immunity idol talking about man, I ain't been to the bathroom since I got here. Uh, dude, Abraham, I'm so worried about that. Like I feel like if I go You're out right. on Survivor, I feel like I'm that I'm gonna have that issue. But he's like, hey little idol man, no one knows <laughs> we're talking right now. 
Man, I was like, does someone need to check in on Tim? Is this man losing no, it? Tim up? is good. Tim, <laughs> hey, Tim is solid. We got a we got a few comments happening here in the chat. Uh, let's see what we yeah. got. We got Jay Hunter is a beast. Yes. Once I get through all these chats, that's the next person yeah. we're going to be talking about. Jonathan is hoping Kinsey goes home very soon. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we had Jay. Yeah, I like that all three had to knock down. I love that. And then we also have Sledge Sports. Hello, I'm kind of late. Welcome. Hey, no, no problem being late here. Uh, we also have Mitch. Tim hasn't been shredding the aqua dog. <laughs> 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 he did it. Hey, look, he did the aqua dog. Hey, let me tell you something, man. Uh, that water don't stand still for you either. <laughs> They'd be like, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna be calm seas while you out here." No, uh, Abraham. Hey, let's. I got it on my hand. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, talk about Hunter this episode. Hunter is someone okay. who I have been loving the entire season. He's obviously my winner pick. I still have the feeling when I watch him play. Every time that I see him on the screen, I go, this looks like a winner. I am picturing him winning, and he, he just looks like a winner. Uh, there's a lot that happened with Hunter this episode. We're going to get to the Beware Advantage in a second. I want to talk about the journey, where they got to go on the journey. It was him, Q, and Tim. And only one person gets to play. One person gets to risk their vote. Uh, Tim is basically saying, I can't risk my vote tonight. He doesn't want to play, play, even though Good he feels move. like great move, great move. I am a big fan of if you are going to tribal council that night, you should never risk your vote. No. Um, Q just outright says, I'm probably not going to win this challenge, which, you know, probably. Well, hold on, let's back, let's back up, up for a second. Hunter gets to go on the challenge because there's a debate between super fan and knowledgeable player. Because mm -hmm. Tim first, Tim was at first, Tim was like, man, I'm a super fan. And then he said, then Hunter was like, no, I'm a, I'm pretty good at this. I, I, I'm a knowledgeable player. Tim was like, hmm, let me let the knowledgeable player go. I think he might do better at it than I do. Now, for all you super fans out there, regardless if I was going to travel or not, if I'm a super fan, I'm taking a chance because they told you up front, this is survivor knowledge. So how, Tim did how Tim would you play. Do? Oh, man, man, we got eight out of 20. I probably got mine. I got my season. Your season wasn't I, on I got, there. Oh then, oh well. I'd have got I'd have got a few of them because I remember the season. I don't remember all the buffs, you know, well, and, and where stuff go. I'm like, I'm like Hunter. I'm like, I remember them. And I've watched them out of order for so long when I was preparing to go out on the island. I was just picking different season and different people and watching them and doing different stuff. So my mind would have never been able to say, okay, I know the very first survivor. And I'd be like, hmm, I know Africa. And I could pick out China and, and I'll be like, okay, winners at war. I could pick that out. Then after that, it's going to get dicey hey, for me. Abraham, I'm going to challenge you right here, right no, here I'll on the spot. I'm going to challenge you. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to challenge you. Say the season's in order. I'm going to see how far you get. Good. No. Give me the you, season no, of you Survivor can't. in order. You can't. No, I have them right here, Abraham, for the fans. No, oh, Abraham, Lord. for the fans, see how much you could do in a, in a timely manner. Try to do it fast. What? I got no. I, I got the answers right here. Thank you. And and, and you have the answers. I have none. All I, right. hey, season I, 41. I, I was trying to get him to do a challenge. He won't do it. He's chickening what's out. A, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the second uh Africa? What's the second? What's the second season? The second, the second is Australian Outback. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Hey, that was Jerry. Jerry, Jerry first appearance right there. Um Hasselback. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good one. Uh, we're voting. We're doing a survivor tournament on our Instagram <laughs> stories. Go ahead. Go vote for those. Uh, Ken's right here. I was so pissed as Hunter was struggling to put these seasons in order. Vanuatu after Guatemala and Cooks, I was screaming at the TV. Mm -hmm. Come on, Hunter. You do have to yeah. remember they have, they're on very little sleep, but I was also screaming. I had one of my friends who just started watching Survivor during the new era. He texted me, Randy, how could you do this? I said, absolutely. I would definitely get the early seasons in order. I know the early seasons, one through Oops. 20. One through 20, easily I'll get that in order. Mm. When you start getting to Cagayan um, uh, and South Pacific, and like 23 through like 38, whatever, like around there's heroes, uh, heroes, healers, hustlers. 
that's where I would have started to get a little mixed up. So I think I would have been close if I did not get it. In my defense, when I first watched the first season of Survivor, I lived in Japan. So it's not like we had regular cable TV to look at Survivor. And then I moved to Japan to Guam. Then I moved from Guam to Masawa. So I wasn't really like in the U.S. I could keep up with certain episodes. So that's what there have been some years I'd have missed some stuff. But anyway, I, I know my season, so I'm good with that. I so, guess what I know. so Hunter loses his vote here, does not complete it, gets eight out of 20. Yeah, another, but... another, another thing that I noticed on this journey, Abraham, everybody was sharing their number one allies. Oh, that was a good one. Wow. If they could stick to it. No, no, if, if, they, if, they, if they, could they could stick, stick that's it. They stick to six. it. Here's the thing about Survivor. Now, here I'm gonna start talking about the merge. You know you're getting close to the merge now because you can look at the numbers. So you know the merge is coming up, and you know everybody's gonna meet somebody they never met, except for those three. So Q, Hunter, and Tim meet. They're sitting there discussing things, they're seeing who hot. They get they get the vibe from before they even get the vibe when they actually do the merge. So now you're saying, okay, who's my number one? When they say that name, then you get to meet that person when they do the merge. Now you got an understanding of, oh, okay, I see. Now I know what to look for. It's better for them to put a name out so you can look for them when you meet them and see how they interact. Because they're saying, hey, this is my number one. And you meet them and they be like, they don't even like they get along. How could that be the number one? That's a sign. Look for the small size. So, but it's interesting. Everybody picks somebody they thought was their number one. Tim picks Maria. Q picks Tiffany and Hunter picks um, Tevin. Yeah. So when I get there and we merge, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the number one and see how they interact because well, now, I mean, and it also tells you who's not their number one. I think it was a great strategy. I think it was great that whoever threw it out, Hey, this is what we're going to look for. It's, I mean, it, it was Q who said, this is what we should do. If you get one, you get one, I get one. That's six. Six. When we merge, that's a strong six. Um, which and I'm then not. You battle I, to, and then you bet when you get down to the six, it, hey, all bets are off. You battle to the end. It's, it's a, it's a risky plan because we've been saying that people can't keep their mouth shuts about mm -hmm. idols and stuff. That's just as important. Sharing your number one ally. Remember when Q was pissed that everyone knew that him and Tiffany were a pair because Banu gave everything. It's but risky. To, back. It's risky to tell people this is my number one because now they could easily go back to their tribe and say these two are close. He told me that. Like Q could have easily went back and said Hunter and Tevin are close. Uh, Tim and Maria are close, and it puts a target on your back. So it's risky. But I will yeah, say, but I was still playing. It's still fun. I will say when I did Expedition Online, we did a similar thing. We got an alliance of six people from the other tribes. So it's very similar. We we had the same pitch. Let's knock people out who aren't in the six. Let's yeah. get to the final six and we'll duel it out. It never happened. It didn't work in the season that I did. Like we had a final six and we got down to the final eight. And then we already had someone in the six saying we got to get this other person out in the six. It I never works out, era, but it, it's, it's, I mean, it's a sound strategy. Yeah. In the old era survivor, I think the only time it really kind of worked was with coach and that season with coaching them. It worked in that season. They stuck together the new era. Uh, when D one, they stuck together, That, but that tribe was dominant too. The tribe was dominant. So that helps out as well. But I think for strategy and playing the game and seeing something and seeing somebody trying to put something out there, I think it was a good move. I don't know so much as Hunter saying, hey, I'm going to take a shot at this. Does he feel that comfortable? That that would be my question. Does he feel that comfortable that they won't vote him out? Because if you go start looking, they're going to start looking at who's the strongest in the tribe, who's holding this tribe together. And Hunter right now, Hunter is a better player than his bio said he would be. His bio and video said he would be boring as all get out. Hunter as a player of Survivor is getting it. He oh. all, they throw Hunter up there first. Uh, I, I do want to show a few comments here. Jay says, Q probably figures that the info is already out there and that he and Tiff are close such that it wouldn't matter if the yeah, other Hunter. tribes know. Great strategy by Q. Everyone knows anyway, so let me try to use this to my advantage to – to get a strong merge alliance, knowing that the merge is just a couple days away. And then Mitch adds on to your point, coach's alliance was damn near a cult. 
<laughs> God, dog. <laughs> I, I didn't say all that. I don't know. <laughs> um, the other thing about Hunter, this <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. The the other thing about Hunter this episode <laughs> is the fact he does find the beware advantage. This was really funny. He said, "I feel like I'm searching, and I feel like the camera is going to do that thing where it pans over and shows that I'm watching right or, or right by the advantage, which it does." And He's eventually, right eventually Hunter does find it. This was really funny to watch. I loved that Venus was basically following him around. And Venus, much like Tegwith, made this comparison. And I want to give Tegwith her flowers here. She said, everyone's saying poverty, but I see Venus more like a Courtney Yates. And this was such a Courtney Yates thing to do. Are you telling me I, Courtney yeah. would not do this? Yeah. I, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Um, and here's the thing about it is you, you're irritating people and it don't take much for somebody to say, you know what? You are irritation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vote you out. Now, I like the fact that Venus was out there looking for the idol. And now that I think about it, Hunter didn't have a vote anyway. So him going on a challenge and not having a vote, he didn't have, he doesn't have a vote anyway. But you also remember when he read his, it also said, if you don't lose, there's still an opportunity to get your vote. So I'm in the idol. But here's the thing about it is Hunter is being more than what we suspected. So, you know, he he's getting the edit. I'm not saying it's the winner edit because that might get your head all big like you did the right choice. Because every pick you have made since the season started, <laughs> since from 41 on, have all lost. So I'm not trying to give you any props on none of that. But here's the thing. I like Hunter. Man, Hunter is getting it. Hunter I love Hunter. I love Hunter so much. It's a it's a solid tribe, even though they got a little dissension in there. It's a, except for Venus. I think Venus is whatever, just not fitting. I think she Hunter needs to merge. Is, I think Hunter is my favorite castaway of the new era. It's between him and Caleb. I think oh, one of them are my no, favorite. Man, Caleb is my guy. No, Caleb. I'm gonna have to meet Hunter, man. Caleb is my guy. Um, but I will say. <laughs> Hunter handled this much better. Obviously, I don't know if we saw the full story, but with Venus following him around, I'm just trying to put myself in the mindset of what would happen if I'm out on the island with no sleep, no food on my stomach, and I have someone just babysitting me. I feel like I would scream. Like I feel like I would go off, Abraham, and no, be like, go, go no, somewhere else where you leave me no. alone, please. Because you don't know if they have something what you're looking for. But here's the thing about it. Is, the funny part about it is, the camera makes it seem like it's right there, that you're just bumbling and, and just not finding it. Let me tell you something. For all you future players, 47, 48, 49, 50, it is not just right there. You literally going to probably – it's going to probably be in the vicinity of one of the paths or something like that, but look how small it is. You got to be looking around. You got Your eyes got to be on a swivel and everything else. And Hunter finding it is a great move. Now I want to see how they're going to actually introduce that particular idol back into the game. Because this thing about it is everybody else had to dig the box up. Everybody else had to do something. Everybody had to get a key. Well, you're running out of time for all that. So what are we going to do? So it's going to be kind of interesting how that plays out in the next episode. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. But Venus will, is really digging a hole for herself. I, I, I will say this before I add on to the Venus point. Um, I love the fact that it, the idols were getting kind of boring. Like everyone had the same thing. Find this box. You have to lose. But what's different is once you actually get the box, like Jim had to measure stuff out. Remember Tiffany, yeah. when she got hers, she didn't have to do anything. She went back. She unlocked. No, she did that equation. No, no, she did. The equation. Oh, there was an equation. Thank you. There, there was an equation. equation. So that none of us would have got, cause I don't no. remember. I was like, where does this come from? So it's different on each beach. What what yeah. did Rand, what did Randon have to do again? He got it. He had to. Oh man, hold up! He found the box. Had to do. Oh, he didn't do anything. Oh he no, he didn't get the there yet. Yeah, he, he didn't had get to the lose. That's right. Yeah, they had to yeah. lose, so they never lost. So he he didn't do anything, but he still had. To, he still, I like the elements of finding the box. I, I like the elements of finding the beware advantage and get hit with that. Then you go thinking that the idol is next, and you get a box. Now you have to wait till you lose in order to get another clue to get an idol. So here's the thing about it is it's a great setup in the sense that if you go ahead and take a risk on Survivor, you have to do it before you go to tribal council. So now there's some things in between that they don't show. 
that's going to take up some of your time. One, if you go on that, um, if you go on the adventure, you're not going to have enough time to get back uh, and, and, the, and find the journey. Out. Yeah. The journey. You're not going to have enough time to get back. You're going to have to do some other stuff for, for the show. And if you get pulled at the wrong time, guess what? You don't have time to look for the idol. So it's a lot going in to find that idol, which I think is a great dynamics because we see Jen, she comes back, she finds the idol. Now she has the idol and nobody knows she's had the idol. So I think it's a good look. I think it's a good little mix right now. I like the way they're doing the idols right now. Uh, I will add, uh, and you touch base on Venus. I wanted to show this comment. Um, Mitch says, Venus knows she's on the bottom. She doesn't have anything to lose with telling people how she sees it. I still have the feeling, maybe a hot take, that Venus is going far in this game. I I don't, I know we saw on next week on Survivor, we see Q saying Venus is saying some shit. I still think Venus is going to make it far. I don't know what it is about her. Uh, I think she's who, a who goes, okay. Who's gonna save her from her own her own try? Who are we saying is gonna save her for her own try? I think Not she could I think she could Not join Sola. on. I Not think Hunter. she could I, I think she could join on with Sega. A few people from Sega. Oh, Sega just sent hey Sega to send somebody home, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure where she fits. So that's gonna be kind of interesting to see where she can find her little niche and build her another alliance from. If she can do that part, because right now you Hunter was the last person on your tribe. You don't piss everybody else on your tribe off. So Sega, Sega you don't have to do a little repair work, but Sega still. They still have Charlie, still had Tim, still have Ben, still have Maria. So even if the oh the other person, if they don't make no difference, they like him or not, they can still vote them out. Uh, the only thing I don't like is Marie gave up her extra vote. She could have just kept her other vote. And really, Yanu just got to go with somebody else because only three of them. But when they come back, you got three. Oh, it's, it's going to be interesting because you only yeah. need six votes. Because we have the, the merge next week. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a quick ad break here. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about Yanu and where they're, Ooh. where they could be heading in terms of the merch coming up. We're also going to talk about rain in Fiji. I'm sure Abraham has some Pray stuff. for it. Pray for it every day when I got voted out. <laughs> I'm sure he's got some stuff to say about that. We will be right back, everyone. My name is Jonah Fielko, and I'm the CEO of Bracketology.tv. Fantasy sports for reality television. We offer fantasy games for shows like The Bachelor, Survivor, Big Brother, RuPaul's Drag Race, and Counting. You start by creating a community. Within your community, you can create a fantasy league for each show that you want to play fantasy games for. Within the league, you can choose up to three of our four game types, and our most popular is the Advanced League. Choose a team of contestants, and depending on what they do and say during the episode, that's how your team will gain or lose points each week. We also have elimination style games like our confidence pool. This is where you choose how confident you are that each contestant will survive elimination that week. And we've also got March Madness style brackets. Come back a couple hours after the episode to check your scores and watch you climb the leaderboard. Bracketology is free to play, so grab your friends, your family, your coworkers, and head to bracketology.tv for more info. <laughs> hey, hey, Abraham. What what did we think about uh, Sassy Jeff tonight? Okay, first Messy off, Jeff? in well Messy, in Messy in the challenge where Jeff needs to stop with the whole uh, in third place, otherwise known as the because like the tribes aren't catching on, they're just like eh, loser. Enjoy, enjoy he needs to he needs to stop that. Retire that Jeff. It's not catching on. But it was funny when he said, "I thought they were going to say Yanu." Yeah, and so did stop that saying that was, nonsense. That yeah. was sassy. That was the sassy Jeff. I wish he didn't say it with a smile. He kind of said it like the nice sassy. Like, I thought they were going to say Yanu, guys. Old Jeff would have been like, I thought they were going to say Yanu after how much you guys have been losing. That's sassy thing. Jeff. As a, as a viewer, I'm like, messy Jeff. As a player, I'm like, man, Jeff said that. Oh, I'm here right now. I wish I'd have bantered back and got me some banner time in. If I knew I was going somewhere, I'd have got me some banter time in with it. I mean, when you're there playing, it's different. When you're when you're watching it, it's different. So if you for all those future players, 
get you some banter time. Remember, uh, what's my <laughs> man that do the breathing techniques? Um, breathing techniques from uh, his season. Uh, Danny, you're talking Danny. Danny. Danny got some banner time. He got him some banner time because he was bannering back and forth. He was doing all kind of crazy stuff on the show. So here's the thing about it. Get out there, get you some banter time back and forth. I love the fact that, you know, the challenges out there and they put it all on the line. But the dynamics of the can I win? And anybody can win Survivor. You, it's just timing. It's just saying, hey, when to make a move? When somebody else made a move. So challenge is over. You got Q gets back off the boat. They never show what Q said they did on the challenge. They never talk about it. It'll probably be a secret scene. Yeah. If, if I, yeah, if we don't I even, nuts. we don't see Q. Um, Tim comes back and spills his guts. Nobody believes him. Nobody believes anybody that goes on a, uh, the, the thing. So it doesn't make a difference. Um, who else? Hunter comes back. Oh, Hunter. We never know what was said by Hunter either. So there's so much footage that some stuff just never get put out there. So now we get up there. So, okay, now you got to go through the chaos of who to vote for. And, uh, oh, I know what I was going to say. There are 13 players left. So just like they did seafood last year, somebody's on the bubble. So one more player has to go before it's an official merge. So somebody's yeah, it's, on the it's, bubble. It's going to be mergatory next week. And, and I'm, I'm yeah. interested to hear – who you think's going to go? Uh, let's talk about uh, Yanu a little bit now. Post Yanu, post Banu, they finally get this win. We had some interesting dynamics here. Um, obviously, you you mentioned earlier how Q was playing up the fact. Oh man, I gotta go home. I I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Great strategy call, and he's doing that so Kinsey doesn't play her shot in the dark. I love the fact that players are starting to have strategy around the fact of we don't want this person playing their shot in the dark. So we have to make sure they feel comfortable. And I think it was working, Abraham. Like I truly believe that Kenzie was like, man, this guy's quitting over here. I mean, he, he could, because it wasn't the first time he wanted to, he said the words of quitting. So at the end of the day, whatever little advantage you can get and you're right. If that makes her feel that more comfortable to not play the shot in the dark and you can vote her out. Great. But here, that wasn't a factor that was being the big thing. The factor is they're both Tiffany's anchor. So now Tiffany is like, I don't want to vote for either one of them. I would prefer to go into a merge having both of them. And that's a good strategy. You know, she doesn't have to vote anybody out. And you got to remember, Kenzie knows that she has a hidden immunity auto. Q doesn't. So at the end of the day, she still has an upper hand. And I think as long as Kenzie plays it cool and don't say anything, when they go into merge, they'll have an upper hand. I think where you kind of it's gonna get dicey in there is who do you target first, Q or a Hunter? I think it's gonna be too early. It's, I think it's got gotta to be Hunter. Be it's got to be Hunter. He's been demolishing <sighs> these challenges. I think Q is sandwich away from beating everybody off the brakes. <laughs> One sandwich away, his power is coming back full strong. So. It's going to be interesting when the tribe comes together. And I think we're going to see a whole new dynamics of Survivor for this episode, for this season here when all the players get to play against each other. And now you got individual immunity. Now I want to see who's the beast. I'd like to give a shout out to Bruce because Bruce was a beast in individual challenges. And I can't remember her name. She was a beast in individual challenges during that season. Uh, what's her name? I Are you talking Franny? Franny. No, not Franny. Not Franny. Uh, uh Franny won three challenges her season. No, Bruce. It was always Bruce and um, D, the D mother. Won, oh, no, 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 no. Julie? Was, Julie. No, not Julie. She was the mother. Yeah, you're talking Julie. Julie? Yeah, her, Bruce and Julie battled out for a cup. Man, go back and look at the season. I, Bruce, did, but Julie, right I did, but Julie won none. Bruce won. No, no, but she was – They when it came no, down not, to the last two – but if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you want, if you're gonna talk challenges, I think Bruce won one or two. D won, I'm pretty sure three last year. Why aren't you he talking about four. D? Bruce won four. I don't remember. No, Bruce dude, that's not four. that's not a topic of my conversation. That's a topic of your conversation. Uh, here we go. But I, but I do want to loop. Killer. I do want to loop back around too. You think Tiffany would choose Kinsey over? No, I don't think so either. I think if no. if they were to go back, it's Tiffany, a numbers thing. I think Tiffany would have chose Q. Like, I think yeah. those two are, I think the yeah. edit did a great job making it feel like. But here's the thing. couldn't decide, but. If you could keep the numbers going into the merge, I would, I would still say, 
I don't have to divulge who my really my number one is. And if I don't have to do that, you know, I'm sitting a little better because right now, if Tiffany can play it right between Q and Kenzie, she could get to easily get down to the, the last five. She could easily get down to the last five because there's a there, there are some people on the chopping block that just not getting the edits. So we don't know how they're going to play. They're just not getting the edits. Um, Maria, she does she blew her vote up with an extra vote, so she doesn't have anything else. You know, if that tribe stays strong with Tim, Charlie, and Ben, they're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. You got Soda them over there on the other tribe where they don't really they're not feeling Venus. So if they vote Venus out in some type of vote now, their numbers are low. So now you got Yanu, which is basically the swing tribe. How can who can we put Yanu with? to vote out the other tribes or other members. So it's going to be kind of, we're going to see how these dynamics develop, but whoever can get a solid four, their group is going to go to the win. I mean, Nami's a mess in terms of like everybody going after one another. We already see that Tevin wants to get soda out. Venus is on the outs. Um, We don't know really what's going on with Liz. Liz isn't up searching for idols. Everyone else is looking and Liz is back at camp going, ah, no, no I'm good. Is, um, is Mariah on this season? Is Mariah on this season? Mar- Mariah? You talking Mo for Sika? Yeah, we saw a yeah, bunch she, of hers. Okay. I'm just trying to remember she, she, she had a season. whole – Abraham, she had a whole segment last week about her <laughs> jumping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get that either. But here's the thing. You know what? I will say this right here. When she was at Tribal Council, that is the expression that you have in your face when you get to Tribal Council for the first time. Not the fact that you had to vote somebody out, just the and the the awe of it all. When you see it on TV, you only see it from a one dimension. I'm gonna say a one dimensional perspective. When you're there, it's just overloading your senses. You just see so much stuff and what goes into making that tribal council. Um, it's 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 a whole interesting thing right there. So I enjoyed it from there, but we really haven't really seen her gameplay. Right now, she's kind of like. She's she's there, but she's not there. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how when the merge happened, where she falls at. I could see her being a vote out. But I can also see her being kept because they need strength. But she's the only person that's going to feel some kind of way about Gemma being voted out. So everybody else, Tim, Ben, they was going to vote her out. Maria had the extra vote. She's with Charlie. So she's really by herself. So it's going to be interesting how she kind of digest that and say, well, why didn't y'all tell me? Because, you know, before they went to tribal, it was all about voting out um, Ben. Now, now Ben has a vote because he lost his vote. So now he has a vote. He done made it through that little rough patch with no no vote. So Helena doesn't have a vote. Who else doesn't have a vote? Everybody else has votes. So Hunter's the only person that doesn't have a vote. Mitch right here. Uh, Liz and Mo need to team up and make a twins alliance. You know what, Mitch? You might be right. You might be, she, she got to find somebody. I think if those two team up, they could bring in another two and they could survive. They could, they need to be able to survive for the next couple of days because they're on day 11. They need to make it up. They need to be able to survive to like day 15 or day 16 when people start gunning for people and need those extra votes. So if they can survive these next two vote outs and not get voted out, I think they're going to be pretty, pretty safe for trying to get to the end. But I don't think either one of them can win Survivor. I don't think the jury would vote for either one of them. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree with you there. As of now, I don't see either of them winning. By the way, I think I might hear a slight echo. So if you guys are getting an echo on your end, sorry about no, that. I'm it might just go. be me. Oh, it sounds fine to you, Abraham? Yeah, I don't see. I don't hear an echo. Uh, but I will say, day 11, Abraham, and people are struggling. Uh, we see Ben say, man, I've hit a wall. Uh it, it really tears on you. And even some people are saying Ben's starting to struggle. We see that's how the relationship between Ben and Charlie, we see Ben looks over and Charlie or Charlie looks over and says, Hey Ben, you need some water. He's like, yeah, man, I just got super dizzy. That kind of like sent us into finding more out about their relationship out there. Uh, Q, even though he's putting on an act, he's still struggling. He says, man, it sucks out here. But he said, I'm going to pass out and die before I before I quit, (laughs) which is the attitude you need to have if you go on Survivor. Abraham, we see people struggling day 11 in the rain. I mean, how how tough is it when it's raining out there and you're being rained on? First of all, I prayed for rain every day. I was in Ponderosa for those folks that were still in the game. So don't want nobody to think I didn't. 
here's the thing about it is when you when you clothes get start getting wet and you're sitting in wet clothes, it's not as bad as some of the seasons of Survivor in different locations have been. But, you know, but it's damp, it's wet. I'm not going to be around any rocks anyway, so you can forget that part. But here's the thing about it is, man, the elements, you still have to say, how can I get a decent amount of sleep? That bamboo is not your bed at home. That thing got knots in it. It ain't even. It's warped. And you're just trying to get a glimmer of sleep. When I say a glimmer, you may sleep for a couple of yeah, hours. I've been, I, I've been told that you get, uh, someone told me you get maybe two, three hours of sleep a night. Man, I woke up in the middle of the night. Fire was about to go out. So I was walking down on the beach getting wood. And then you just kind of sit up. You look over and people look like they're sleeping, but you just kind of sit up there and be like, daylight eventually come in. Then you say, well, let me try to lay back down. Then you got to try to crawl on some bamboo. That's It's not like we, we tied it together. We just basically try to get it together so it would stay. And then you're laying on it. Um, so it's like, you're not there long- to sleep how long are the nights? Like, do they feel like an eternity? Cause you just, you have nothing to okay, do. Good question. So we do the first night we get there. We do the initial interest to the show where we do the challenge. We do the sweat challenge. And then we meet our, we meet our tribes. It's they've changed a lot that entry. Cause now we met each other and now you say, okay, we got to build a shelter. Okay. Well you build a shelter. Okay. You got up that morning and now you're just kind of going all day. Nightfall comes. It's like, okay, we ain't got no TV. There's nothing to do. So after you don't laugh a few times, people start drifting off. You'll fall asleep and then you'll wake up. But here's the thing you don't take into consideration. You fell asleep at eight o'clock. You wake back up at probably 12. <laughs> Think you don't have a watch. So you don't know what time it is. So now you're like, well, I'm just going to get up and hang out. Well, you still have like six hours before daylight. You just don't know it because we got up the night. The first night we all got up and was like, man, this is amazing. We're just going to stay up until sunrise. Probably about two hours later, we was like, man, sunrise ain't coming right now. I don't even, what time is it? <laughs> so you lose a track of time. You have no sense of what time it is. So you just kind of get, kind of try to figure it out. But you move with the daylight. So it, it gets pretty groundhog day quick. Uh, we got a so, few few people in the chat. Mitch, I feel like we've seen a lot more people sleeping on the ground instead of the bamboo in recent seasons. Mitch, you're right. But here's the problem. There's a lot of stuff out there crawling. <laughs> so that's what i'm chance. worried about and then back to uh season 46 jonathan who gets eliminated first hunter or q i'm gonna say q no i'm, I'm back in my I'm man. Say it's dicey no i'm gonna say it's dicey if if they agree to what they talked about i'm gonna say they last longer than anybody else but again q and hunter gotta know they got targets because they're bigger players so it's, it's it's always interesting as you get to the merge but we also saw jonathan who was a beast on his season, make it down to what the last four? Yeah. Oh, he had to go yeah, through Mike. He, yeah, he, he got eliminated on, on fire yeah. by Mike. Yeah. So it, it's 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 not a clear cut, hey, we're gonna vote out the strong players, but it's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm just gonna see who's gonna get teamed up. We'll have a better idea who gets teamed up next episode when they go into the merge and we kind of see some of their conversation. Here's another thing. Here's where I'm glad we have the 90 minutes. Because the 90 minutes gets us to see the relationships that get developed doing that merge, love that it. little yes. merge face. Yes. So I looking forward to it. I just love that we're getting camp life. I, I know some people are bored of it man. and saying, oh, why do we need like these Taylor Swift Metallica talks? Why do we need a scene about jumping? That's what we want. We want camp life. That's what made Classic Survivor Classic Survivor. There used to be no advantages. That used to be camp life challenge camp life challenge that's Lord. what survivor used to be why are we complaining about camp life it's nice that we're getting all, it is so much fun in camp that if you go on survivor you're going to be like i want y'all to show camp life we had so much fun in camp life and they never show it and it's like man where's my camp life at for every mark for every part of camp life they show on these seasons now you can go back and look at it years from now if you're on Survivor in 10 years from now, when you sit with your grandkids or kids or whatever, and you're looking at Survivor, you'd be like, man, I remember that camp life. I remember that day. It's just a it's just a moment in time that I wish when they started season 41, they'd have captured more of ours. But I'm, I'm grateful that now they're capturing more camp life. It's a longer episode. We get to see more of the development of players. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, and you join the, hey, you join the Survivor Club, 
you go back and look at your season, you're gonna want to see that camp life. Yeah, no, also I some think, of stuff is funny. <laughs> I think we need more camp life. Well, Abraham, let's go ahead and get into what fans can expect from Survivor Now this week. Let By the way, in. if you guys have enjoyed this chat, Abraham and myself, Ab we've kind of developed a, a, a unique dynamic. Like people come to us and say, I love the banter between you two. Like we have that chemistry now. Technically, I want to throw Randy off the top of the Survivor platform, but he my guy, so I can't do it. So we, hey, we good. We do. Uh, you know what? Survivor, Survivor brings together a lot of people, man. And it's just a great opportunity to be in here and just talk about Survivor and, and meet and see the new players. I'd like to give a shout out to Bryson Wynn because we're doing an event in Dallas. Woo. Bam, we'll be up there. I get to see my uh, season 41 brother, Danny. And um, that's going to be fun. So you meet people, man. And it's just it's just amazing, man. You know, we've been to L.A. We've been to New York. Um, all with the all with Survivor. I believe we're going back to New York this year. New York again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I can't wait. Mitch does say Camp Life gives us as a viewer much better idea of tribe dynamics. Oh, I yeah. totally agree. But hey, hold up! Did you did you hear that slick statement uh, Soda made at the challenge when Venus was doing the challenge? No, what did she do? What she, <laughs> she said? said something. You gotta go back. She said something sitting on the bench. <laughs> she, I was like, <laughs> see. I don't think she likes her, but it just because she'd be saying all kind of stuff. But so does funny. No, I, I definitely I got to go back and watch that. I must have missed it. But if you guys enjoyed the chat today, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We do, really do appreciate all of it. And we want to reward you guys for being involved with the channel. We have some incredible content uh, coming up for you guys tomorrow night, 9 p.m. <laughs> Eastern time. Uh, Survivor Social, Episode 5. They're going to break it down from a social aspect. Uh, it's Tegwith, it's Kara, being joined by Season 44 castaway Franny Marin. Abraham, I'm excited for this. Franny yeah, is such one. an incredible person. Many as comicals all get out. So you can definitely catch that tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. And then on Friday, Jack and Will are back to talk about Survivor Stockwatch, uh, basically, it's our power ranking show. They're going to let you know who they think has the best chance to win. Uh, I need to get this message up. Jack <sighs> told me to market it as the most seismic mistake in Stockwatch history. Why is that? Because they had Jim being the winner. Last week, they said Jim seems like a clear winner. And boy, were they wrong. So Man, make sure to tune in Jim. Friday to see... Uh, all the fallout of Jim's shocking elimination this week after she got the idol. And then on Saturday, oh, that Stockwatch, by the way, that's 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. And then on Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, noon Pacific, you can catch uh, Phil, Ollie, and Matthew, the Got Something For You boys on Got Something For You. It is our final recap show of the week. They are taking you through every moment frame by frame and breaking it all down as well as getting you ready for next week. And they are going to show you some of the best posts on social media. And we're not, we're not only doing survivor us survivor. AU might've wrapped up last week, but we are not done yet. Next Monday, we have two very special interviews for you guys. What'd you say, Abraham? So after the game, <laughs> after Hey, it's it's a classic show. After the game with Valeria, we're going to sit down. Valeria finished ninth place in this past season of Survivor Australia, Titans versus Rebels. We're going to sit down with her. It's going to be a, at least an hour-long interview. We're going to really break down what happened in, on the island and what she's doing nowadays, as well as we're going to talk to the sole survivor of Sur Survivor Australia, Titans versus Rebels, yes. Ferris. We're going to talk to Ferris. We're going to spend it about an hour with him breaking down his game and what all it took for him to become the newest soul survivor. So that's Valeria. That is Ferris. Both interviews happening next Monday. I mean, we've got Abraham. We've got Hello. loads of content for everyone. Survivor Now podcast is packed full of information, fun, and excitement. Come here. This is where we give you everything that you would need. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sad to see Jim go, man. I, she, she had all the tools to be the sole survivor for this season. All the I, tools. I'm also like. And a little villain. And, and she was a little villainous. I'm she, also, she was like, 
I don't mind them digging up them trees. I was like, no, what you doing? I'm also super sad to see her go. I think, um, I I mean, it was so shocking. It always sucks to go out with an idol in your pocket. Like that's the worst feeling in the world. But I will say Mm -hmm. Abraham, I think, I think you got to bring her back. If you're survivor, you have to bring her back. Like, man, how many people you bringing back, man? You bring her back. Everybody. I need to write an article. There's a lot of people I want to see play again. Um, and we can spread it out among different returning seasons, but I just felt like Jim had much more to prove. She's won. She has been our last, the last two weeks, the fans have voted her the player of the week. She was playing in my opinion, the best game. Played herself right out of the game. I feel like we, we got robbed of what she could have done in this game. And I think if you look at bringing pre-merge players back, I think she's one of the better pre-merge players that we've seen play this game in a while. I'm bring bring Sarah back. We never got a chance to see Sarah. Sarah was a hell of a competitor because we had that old janky start to our season. Yes, I said it. We, I mean, we need just a season of like early pre-merge boots, like, either first, second, or third eliminated because those are players that never really got to get their – they never got their game going. I think everybody on 41 should get another shot <laughs> except for except for, the last, for, Eric, for the last three. Here's the thing about it is I'm, I'm not – I would say, hey, bring Sarah back because Sarah didn't get a chance to show that she's a player. She could strategize. She could play because we dealt with a different format that was immediately changed in 42. And has never been repeated as far as how you vote out and a lot of the stuff they had done. I love the maturity of the new era of Survivor, but also there were some victims in Survivor as they made those changes in 41 and 42 and going into 43. So, you know, we're going to start looking at bringing people back, you know, bring people back because you actually had to deal with trying to hammer out some actual problems with the show and bring Survivor back to a whole new platform. Because we didn't see until last season where Jeff was out doing promo. You yeah. know, we've seen them on TV shows. We've seen them on posters. I mean, that season, what, 45? So at the end of the day, you know, we had to build it back. And there were some casualties of building it back. I would love to see some players get another chance in those early uh, couple of seasons right there. Just because, hey, you really didn't get a good shot because you were part of the rebuilding process. But at the end of the day, if I can't make it back, Sarah, I wish Sarah could go back. I want JD to go back. You know, these those are great players that just didn't get a chance to, you know, play. And just have a good time. I mean, they they can bring another element to the game. Um, Jim, yeah, I would love to see Jim come back out and play. I think she definitely would learn from that mistake she made on this season. And here's the thing about it is what you don't know. When you get to Ponderosa, all you got is time to think. And it's not a it's, – it's just like – then you start playing the game in your mind. The next time you see one of the Survivor players, be like, do you ever replay the game in your mind? And – at some point, we all be like, you could be driving down the street and you'd be like, man, I should have folded that person out. What could have to Tiffany. What could have been is a is a very dangerous thought to have. Well, we want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe right to the channel. And I mean, we got the merge mergatory next week, which is very, very <laughs> exciting. The game is going to start picking up make sure to tune into all of our other content abraham anything else to say before we tune out here no, I, I think next week is going to be that fire that we're looking for i think this was a great episode we saw a lot of good gameplay um and you know blindside is always a good end to the show so <laughs> we like a blindside it was a great start to the post banu era oh, yeah. and that's the last i i hope to be talking about banu for the rest of the season thank you guys for tuning in we will catch you guys